How long has it been since you've seen a panoramic painting? Well, a panoramic painting it is, a, is, a, is an early version of, well, it was before they had movies and people still wanted to see everything happening at once. They wanted to have a sense of development. They wanted to have a sense of, of drama. And they wanted to have a sense of, of, of marching of time and events past a given point. This is what a movie is, actually, see? In the 19th century, the panoramic painting grew to be one of the big art forms, a tremendous thing. In fact, uh, the, the panoramic painting that I saw, it was a panoramic view of the Civil War. As a matter of fact, it stretched from Kokomo all the way to Terre Haute. Now, what the artist tried to do was to paint every soldier who had fought on the north and every soldier who had fought on the south. Now, at one time, there were over three million people under arms wearing the blue and something like three and a half million people wearing gray. So he had a he had a job cut out for him. And he accomplished it. He certainly did. And not only that, he drew all the battles on one canvas, not just a few of the battles, but all the battles of the Civil War, all the skirmishes, the peace treaties. He even he even touched a little bit on the on the antebellum period and on the postbellum period. Over there near the right edge of the canvas and near the left edge of the canvas. Now, you see, what he was trying to do was to encompass it all. And uh, I can remember walking along that for miles, looking at all those guys who'd fought that Civil War. And I remember my Aunt Gwen saying next to me, looking up, I think it was right near the Battle of Bull Run. He was looking up at the Battle of Bull Run, which was which actually was painted in particularly garish paint because he was in the middle of his mold period. You see, it took this painter... Over 20 years to paint this, went through several periods. He went through a mauve period. He went through a fauve period. He went through a period of, of complete representationalism. And then he got tired for a while and sagged in the middle. And then he went uphill all the way on up until he finally wound up in his pre-cubistic period with a big crash of symbols. It was a wonderful painting. And so I'm standing there next to my Aunt Glenn. My Aunt Glenn looks up there at that whole thing. She's standing by the Battle of Bull Run, and she says... You know, sometimes I wonder where it's all going to end. I says, Aunt Glenn, it's going to end over there near Kokomo. 